Hello everyone, today we're back with the landscaping business. Well guys, spring's finally here, so today we're going to be putting the plows and the salters away. It's going to be a busy day, we have a few other things we have to also get done here with the landscaping business. So let's hop on in the Duramax, let's get on over to the shop. There is a full mods list link down below with all the mods featured in today's video here and if you do end up enjoying today's video please hit that like button, it is much appreciated. Now guys, today is finally the day I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Although we had a lot of fun this winter, pushing a lot of snow, making a lot of money, it's time to get ready to do some landscaping projects to be outside and for the warm weather to finally get here. I mean, it was a cold, cold winter, but hey, it's already like 60, 65 degrees out here, so that's a good start to spring and hopefully there are all those cold days are behind us. We're going to be taking all the plows off the trucks here, which is, uh, seems like a simple task, but we just have so many trucks that it's just going to take quite some time here, and we do also have to take the salter out of the Ford F450 here, so that's going to be a little tricky as well, and then we have to go pick up the skid steer that's at the lot that we did some plowing with here, so we'll get the door opened on up, but guys, I'm thinking that we'll probably just put them around back here, plenty of room. Oh yeah, we should be able to put all the plows here, and actually, I think we'll leave the Duramax plow for last, since that's my truck, and let's put all the other plows first. Well, the last of the trucks, guys, is my personal daily here, the Duramax. I want to put this last just in case uh, we get a late uh, spring snowfall or an early uh, snowfall next uh, winter there. So we're all good to go. The last thing we have to do here is actually uh, going to be the salt spreader here. It's going to be a little tricky, but we'll just put it right alongside uh, the uh, snow plows there. I did wash it, so we're all good there. Won't have to worry about anything rusting, anything like that. Other than I just probably will put a few pieces of plywood over top so no critters or anything goes inside. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Perfect guys, we just did it. And that is all we had to do there, which is great. But we'll stay in the F450. We actually have to pick up our skid steer here. Now, guys, we do a lot of commercial accounts and some of the big ones. I actually tend to just leave the skid steer at the uh, parking lot here. It's a lot easier than bringing it with a trailer every snowfall. So let's go pick that up. And then that will conclude all the uh, kind of stuff we have to put away here. Now, there's snow blowers, shovels, but... Uh, those are just very easy, don't take much time, and uh, that's uh, kind of not the fun part as well. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far, so let me know how it is down below. My day's been pretty awesome, like I've mentioned guys, spring is here, and I've been able to do some yard work recently, which is always exciting to be outside and to get things done around the house here, but uh, hey, I'm super excited to get to work here, a lot of jobs already booked, it should be a lot of fun. So here's our John Deere skid loader. One thing guys we have to do today is switch out these tires. These tires are specific for snow plowing. Gives us a lot better traction. Dirt uh, tires on a skid steer guys is just not going to work here. You'll be slipping and sliding and uh, you won't be as productive here. A lot, a lot more uh, pushing power and traction with these uh, tires here. But we'll get this loaded on up.
All right, we should be good to go there. Now, I do tend to use the dually trucks here for the skid steers. Just with how heavy they are, I like to have a bit more stability on the back axle there, especially uh, for driving around town where we're fine, but on those highways, uh, sometimes for those uh, jobs out of town, it, we definitely uh, is a lot much easier to tow with a dually. All right, we'll just put this in front of the salt spreader here, and then I actually have to go get the wrenches out here. Go get the jacks and a few wood blocks uh, to get these tires changed, uh, changed here, and then I'm also going to put uh, the trailer away here. So let me go do these, and then we actually have to run over to tractor supply. With our landscaping business, guys, we currently have two trailers to do all our business. And we need to add another one here. So we have an 18-foot PJ we use to haul the mowers and the machines around. But we need something that's a little bit bigger to fit three zero turns. And to be specific, to lawn care. Because the mowers do tend uh, to slip and slide on those skid steer ramps. And we need that trailer more for hauling the big machinery around town. Since we are taking on more jobs like that. So I ordered a trailer from Tractor Supply. It's taken about uh, two and a half months to arrive here it's actually right on time which is great to see and then we are going to be picking up another mower which we did demo about a month ago I will have to run in to make sure we're all good to go here and to sign off that we picked it up here. But guys, here's a new trailer. They actually have it right out front here for us. So it is a 20-foot big text trailer. This thing is perfect here. You guys can see I got the landscape rake. We got the sides here and a toolbox for any tie-down straps and things like that. I'm really, really excited. This trailer is a little bit more money than what I wanted to spend. But hey, if you buy it once and you buy it properly, you won't have to keep buying it here and that's what I want with these trailers and they are really important for our business although they just seem like a simple piece of equipment here so we'll get backed up to it and we'll get attached here I'm really excited to really kind of see how this trailer is let's keep on going for let's try out the ramp oh yeah boys this is gonna be pretty sweet so I'm gonna run inside do that and then we'll head to the local dealer Tractor Supply sure knows how to make it pretty quick here for business owners. About 15 minutes total. I did have to sign the title and things like that, but we're all good to go. Now, guys, I would say about a month ago, we did actually demo a John Deere Walk Behind. The, now, the Walk Behind, guys, is a 48-inch here. I'm really buying this as a backup mower and for one that we can mow hillsides with. I really don't want to be using a, an expensive mower. And I want something where if it gets too steep, you could just kind of let go and uh, walk to safety as well. And I think a Walk Behind is the way to go. All right, we're here at the local dealership here. It's right out front here for us. Now, I try to do all the negotiations, all the paperwork over the phone and over the internet the most I can. It helps us out. It saves me a lot, a lot of time. Not uh, coming all the way over here uh, to just walk away not getting a, a deal or uh, not even being able to look at it here. But here it is, guys. It's a 48-inch John Deere, so I'm going to get it loaded up. And I'll run inside to double check everything. The new trailer is pretty sweet here. I'm really liking it so far here. I think I might adjust it a little bit. That drop hitch needs to be raised just a little bit. Wow, you guys can see we could definitely fit three mowers on the trailer. But now it's time to get back to the shop here. I do have a few hours worth of office work and then it's time to head on home here. And I think tonight I'm going to be playing a few uh, hours worth of farm sim with a few buddies here, which is pretty exciting. But guys, I do have a new series starting hopefully this weekend, which I'm really excited for. Now there is a lot of cool things here in the works here and maybe a new roleplay series where some of you guys could hop in game and help me on out here. So drop any ideas down below and hey would you want to join me uh, for some roleplay and have a great time here uh, playing farm sim. Well guys we're back at the shop so I'm going to run in the office here and it's time to put the camera away for the day. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.